so we are going to talk about nanomisters and nebulizers or nebulizers or however people like to call them it all depends now there's a lot of controversial issues over the use of these within the industry and it is something that a lot of people don't understand and they don't know whether they should be using them or not so let's firstly talk about what they actually are and we're going to be referring to um, and, and nanomister here. So when you hear me talking about them, I'm going to be talking about nanomisters. So what a nanomister is, is what you are seeing here in the picture. It's a small battery operated device that um, pumps out a very, very fine mist of water or distilled water into the environment or onto your face or onto your lashes, however you decide to use it. And they are introduced within the lash industry because they say that it can cure the lashes. And it means that clients can get their lashes wet within the 24 hour period that we normally recommend them to keep their lashes dry. So let's talk about whether we should be using this or not. And let's talk about how these came about. So from my understanding, I saw um, these devices about three years ago and it was stated that you could use these on a set of lash extensions immediately after you'd been applying them and the use of the moisture would cure the lashes immediately or cure the lash glue immediately and your clients could get their lashes wet because by now we should know that Cyanoacrylate loves moisture. Cyanoacrylate is a project, um, product that's in the glue and moisture is used to help the Cyanoacrylate cure which again is why we say to our clients, you know, no water within 24 hours because the cyanoacrylate is already curing. So the other thing they are saying is that the use of these devices actually helps with retention. So you will be getting a, a lot better retention. Your client's lashes will last longer if you're using one of these. And this is my understanding how it came about and having watched how the developments within this product went along over the, the months if not the years and the feedback that was being given from people that were using them. So first of all they were being used on clients and people were saying they were getting amazing retention, you know lashes were lasting, lasting really really well and it seemed that back then when these were being recommended people didn't really know about humidity and they didn't know how their glues work. So if you don't know about this please go and watch one of my other videos where I will tell you the science behind how all of our glues work. So from what I understood people were actually using these and getting great results with them when they were using them in environments of low humidity because cyanoacrylate loves moisture to cure so if you've got low humidity and your glue isn't curing if you add a little bit of moisture within the use of a nano mister like this which you mist over your client's lashes then the mist is going to help the lashes cure and therefore you're going to get better retention because your lashes cure nicely the glue doesn't remain wet and the lashes you know are going to last so this is all very well so if you've got a low humidity environment a nano mister is actually going to work really really well because you're bringing the level of humidity up and that means that your glue is going to be curing to almost perfection. However, the problem that you can get, and I think this is what was found towards the summer months when people were still using nano misters, because I think they'd kind of been using them in the winter, which was when they sort of came out, was that when our humidity was high, and then we were using a nano mister as well, you were adding moisture to glue that was already cured quickly or was curing quickly. So by adding the moisture, you were then adding too much humidity and getting what you call brittle bonds, which is where your bonds or your, your glue cures too quickly, it becomes brittle and the lashes fall off. So when you found that people either were working in a perfect humidity environment or an environment was slightly too high, by adding this moisture, thinking that you were doing the lashes a favour, then actually what you were getting was detrimental and you were over curing the lashes causing shock curing and the lashes were coming off. So you can see why you know a lot of people were then not getting great retention and, and what I saw was you know during the winter people were getting really good retention with it and then over the summer retention started to, to get worse and it took for one person to actually say on a forum am I the only person that's not getting great retention out of a nanomister 
and then somebody else was like me too and somebody else was like oh yeah me too and then it sort of started a whole sort of new post and it's kind of came about the reasons why these don't work when our humidity is too high so over time we started to realize how our glues work and we started to be able to control our humidity and now most of us can control not only our temperature but our humidity which is paramount we don't really in my opinion want to be using a nano mister because for me if i'm controlling my environment with my humidity to a perfection and then i come in and nano miss my client i'm now adding more moisture to what was a perfect environment and i'm going to get shock curing so for me i never choose to use a nano mister unless my humidity is low where i need that a little bit of extra moisture but because i work in my salon and i've got my devices that will help me control my humidity my salon conditions are perfect when i'm lashing meaning that i don't need the use of this however these can have a place in the industry like i said if your humidity is low or if you have a client that is sensitive to the glue so if you have a client who when she opens her eyes she suffers from stinging whereas normally most other people are fine this is where this product could actually help them so if you've got a client like that just give them a quick spray of about 10 seconds using a nano mister just underneath the lashes so on the underside for about like i said 10 seconds at a distance of about 30 centimeters away this can actually help up the speed up the process of curing just so that when she opens her eyes she's not actually going to get stinging so this would be the only time that i would actually use this on a client if i've got a client that's very very sensitive otherwise i'm not because i'm risking over curing the lashes my other understanding and this is my argument only and i'm not a scientist but this is what i feel and the reason why i don't use this to cure the lashes quickly is they say that by nano misting you quickly cure the lashes and they say that lashes take 24 hours to cure which they do but if you nano mist you're actually going to cure the lashes so your clients can get their lashes wet immediately for me i know that cyanoacrylate or the glue it actually cures in layers so it cures from outer to inner layers and it actually takes 24 hours for this process to happen which is why we say don't get your lashes wet for 24 hours so in my opinion if you if you nano mist you're actually going to be speeding up this process and causing the shock curing because for me i believe that the glue does need 24 hours to cure to so that those layers dry in time if you speed it up you're going to reduce the retention of your clients so i don't think that we should be speeding up the process i think we need to just leave the process alone and let it do its work for 24 hours rather than speeding up and risking the shock curing but these are just my theories and they're theories that you know that i put into practice and don't and i don't use these because of the experiences that i've had with them so in low humidity yes i would use this with a client that is sensitive yes i would do it just to cure the bonds a bit quicker so that it's not stinging her but now i'm working in an environment that i can control I do not use this device because I just found that my client's lashes did not last with it. But like I said, that is my theory over it. It's what I teach my students. What other people choose to do is completely up to them because if it works for you, who am I to say that you should or you shouldn't be doing it? But you know, I, I run a lot of tests and a lot of experiments on my clients by documenting all of my findings through devices like this and i have found that when i'm controlling my humidity to perfection the adding of extra moisture to my perfection is detrimental to the lashes but this is what the device is relatively inexpensive you're looking at about 10 pounds off ebay amazon i think it's a good idea to have one in your kit um, you can use it on yourself as well if you are allergic well not allergic to the glue but if you find that you are slightly sensitive to it and this is something that can happen with a lot of lash technicians to actually spray your face with this can assist you with the symptoms that you might get as a lash technician um you know you might have times when your humidity is low and you just need to spray it in the air above you for me this happens very very rarely because i have everything i need to control my environment but it's always handy to have this inexpensive device in your um, salon so that you can use it just bear in mind that you do need to put distilled water in it because tap water um, has particles in it that will clog up 
the nozzle so it will not work um, but these come with full instructions um, and the nebulizer is exactly the same and um, they just sort of spray fine mist into the air to add moisture but that is my theory behind them the reason why I don't use them um, and I hope that that has been helpful to you